Hi world, my name is Fraser and today I'm going to quickly show you how to have Otter do a live transcription for you while you're streaming or doing educational classes or wherever you may like to be live with a transcription as you go. It's super fast, it's super simple, so let's dive right in. I'm going to stop this recording and show you how to set up the next one. So, here we go. You just come into your browser, open a new tab, and you go to otter.ai. You log in if you already have an account, otherwise click sign up. It takes 10 seconds. Otter already works just out of the box for interviews, capturing your own ideas, or even for meetings with Google Meet and Zoom. So while you're signing up, if you connect to your calendar, it'll just ping you whenever you've got a meeting and say, would you like to transcribe this meeting? It's super handy. So anyway, once you've logged in, here you are, and uh, you can just click record and bang, you're transcribing your ideas or an interview or whatever you like. But for the setup that we had with the live streaming, you just wanna shrink the screen to be as small as possible. Then we can click record. Here we go, see, I've started my new recording, and you can give it a name, and then we're gonna come over to our, to our streaming software. So here we are, I've got my camera, and uh, um, here we have our different sources. So you, you just simply add a new source, capture a window, and we're gonna capture the window that we just made. I'm gonna call that auto transcription, and here we go, we pick, which one was it? Doo -doo -doo. That's the one. Now, in this streaming software, um, things often come in super big, so <laughs> we just wanna make it the size that we want. A mm -mm. Little bit smaller, and there we go. Then you just wanna line it up in a way that you're happy with, and I'm, I'm happy with that. You might like to play around with it. Um, perhaps try on the other side of the screen if you're using a streaming platform that has chat over that side. I tried putting it down the bottom, but the auto scrolling seems to work better if the screen is taller. So that's why I prefer to put it on the side rather than the bottom. So anyway, you've put it over there on the bottom and then you can click start streaming or start recording and bang, there you have Otter live in your streams. Obviously, if you want to um, um, turn on a green screen, you can set up different things. There you go. Or if you wanted to give a demo, da da, here we go. Look at my presentation. And it's great to be able to have your presentation and also capturing. What, you, what you're saying at the same time. So yeah, I hope that's helpful. Um, Otter's great, I'll put a link in the description. Um, I, I hope you enjoy it and uh, looking forward to seeing what you create. And yeah, if you use this to stream something, please drop it in the comments. I'd love to see what you do. Thanks.